The atom is the basic building block of all matter. And the atom this model represents is like every atom as we know it. The nucleus is positive, the electrons are all negative. In this respect, it has been maintained that all atoms are alike, but this is wrong. If there is matter, then there must also be antimatter, a symmetrical mirror image. Now here we have a positive nucleus, negative electrons. In the reverse, we must obviously have a negative nucleus with positive electrons. Science has proved that this is so. Not in this Earth, nor in this solar system, but somewhere in the universe, there are stars, planets, whole galaxies made up of antimatter. Just a minute, General. Uh, Doctor, it's been proven that antimatter exists, but it's also been proven that whenever it comes in contact with ordinary matter, they annihilate one another. Even as understood in the giant claw, the laws of physics require the existence of a universe half filled with antimatter. For example, antimatter stars, planets, and even antimatter galaxies, if the universe began in a Big Bang. Why? The theory claims that all matter was formed from the energy released by a Big Bang. But if that were true, for every atom of matter, there would be another atom of antimatter. However, there has never been evidence for a matter-antimatter universe, and a recently published study claims to have empirically disproved the possibility of a matter-antimatter universe. For more information, and to see a similar but modern brief video clip from Fermilab, a U.S. national laboratory, just Google Big Bang Predictions and then click on the number one ranked article which we wrote at kgov.com which is also called rsr.org for Real Science Radio or just browse on over to our article on the Big Bang at rsr.org slash bb. Thank you. There it is now. Attacking the United Nations building. <laughs> Somewhere in the universe, there are stars, planets, whole galaxies made up of antimatter.